Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going down to Antarctica, or at least near Antarctica, in the Southern Ocean. I ran across something the other day, by sheer accident, out in the water. Kind of looks like something boiling, or it could be something else. I don't know, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide. We'll take a closer look at it here in just a moment. And also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. But first, here at the website, taking a quick look at the Schumann Resonance, you can see yet another spike. Not quite as big and not quite as long a duration. Origins unknown. Looking at the sun, for the most part, everything's pretty quiet. Got an earth-facing coronal hole. A Little bit of activity starting to brew over here on the southeastern limb, but not too much going on to speak of did have a large slow moving CME picked up on the stereo ahead spacecraft Corona 2 this location was shared by Carlos Skywatcher who noticed this over at the stereo spacecraft and you can see a large slow moving I mean very slow moving it almost looks like a, a huge orb fell off the the back side of the Sun there and it was moving slow enough that it did make its way this occurred on the third and the fourth it took 24 hours to fully detach and as it detached, it turned towards the Earth and made its way towards the Earth. As you can see over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, right there it went past the Earth, narrowly missing the planet. We have another slow-moving cloud coming in. That's from the Earth-facing coronal hole right there. It'll be here in about 24 to 48 hours. But other than that, not a whole lot going on that would have done anything like that. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. All in all, pretty quiet compared to what we've seen here in the last few days. Got some dark blue. That's a resonance going through the eastern side, or at least part of the eastern side of the supervolcano Caldera. Once again, the majority of the earthquake activity that we've been seeing is calm for now. Another interesting article about Antarctica dated June 3rd of 2021 by CNN.com talking about a polar pod floating laboratory will flip onto its side and drift around Antarctica to research the Southern Ocean. What they're talking about flipping onto its side, it's going to be, it's not built yet, it's going to be done in 2024, but the idea is to have a vertical laboratory 80 meters below water, 20 meters above water. The team will be up here with all kinds of instruments to, to monitor and, and collect data down here in the Southern Ocean, which is great. I think that's phenomenal. I just don't know how well this is going to hold up down here amongst the very high waves and, and strong, strong currents of the, the Southern Ocean. And then the wild icebergs running around down here. I think it would have been better to build a laboratory like an iceberg so you'd kind of blend in with your environment instead of literally sticking out like that. I don't know how well that's going to do. I hope it does great, and I think the idea is awesome. I think it would have been a better idea to build the laboratory like an iceberg. It would have blended in a whole lot better. Now I want to take you guys down to Antarctica, where I ran across something a couple of days ago. I was down here looking at something else, and I ran across this location that looked like something boiling out in the water. And here we go. This is a location of whatever this is. I take some still images. Images. I make some modifications to the still images. I do some enhancements. Not quite sure what's going on here, guys. I'm leaving this entirely up to you. Here's the coordinates 6224 South, 5946 West. And there's the feature out in the water. It's over 125 feet wide across the center, and that's approximately. And it's round. It's got like a tail. There's a tail feature right there, too. Don't know, guys. Here it is, enhanced. I did some enhancement still images. That's in a negative format. Light is dark, and dark is light. I don't know. You can see it's a little denser over here on the, the upper left-hand side. Kind of gets a, a less dense on the right. Don't know. It looks like the water is boiling, like something might be moving in that area, or at least it was moving at the time this image was taken. That says Google 2021 on there, not 2011. I know it looks like 2011, but it's not. Here it is in yet some other formats. And again, guys, I don't know what this is. I'll leave it entirely up to you. The coordinates, once again, are down below in the description box. And I've been to Antarctica dozens and dozens of times, like a lot of you guys have. I've never seen anything like that. That's something new. Uh, again, I have no idea. You tell me what we're looking at there. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos sent from all around the world. Nikki out of Salt Lake City, Utah. Yuki out of Daytona Beach, Florida. This one here looks like an hourglass. Patricia B. out of Maryville, Illinois. 
Illinois. Some sort of a unique hole punch cloud up in the sky. Looks like a big ship went right through the clouds. Graciela out of Davie, Florida. Very intense. Double decker rainbow low to the ground in Davie, Florida. Photo here sent in by Angela out of Cashtown, Pennsylvania. Low horizontal rainbow in the sky above Cashtown. Chris out of Ruskin, Florida. Spectacular pink and purple sunset. Here it is in a slightly different color. Went from pink and purple to bright orange. Photo here sent in by Alex out of Ecuador. Big beams spanning across the sky at the equator. Photos here sent in by Wendy out of Georgia. She took some photos of the sun. You have to do this very carefully with specialized filters, and that's what that was. That was with an H-alpha filter. And she noticed some sort of a unique, I don't know if this is some sort of a image glitch, but she had never seen that type of anomaly before where it looked like a shadow or something behind the sun in her photographs. Photo here sent in by Pamela out of Ontario. Big jumbo halo in the sky around the sun. Same halo looks like out of Germany sent in by Jens. Very intense. Video footage here sent in by Shelly out of Littlefield, Texas. This is of the Starlink satellite train that was going through the sky above Texas a few nights ago. Mama G out of San Diego, California. Big beams spanning across the sky. Look like buildings up in the sky above San Diego. Brenda out of Lakewood, Colorado. Happened to catch a lightning strike right there on video as the sky was turning purple and pink and a lightning bolt dropped out of that cloud above Lakewood, Colorado. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website, and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there. Mm -hmm.